Today, as believers, we will trade our complaints to praises. We declare on this Monday that God is good and that he's worthy to be praised. The call today for believers is to praise ye the Lord. And we join Psalm 34, 1 to 3, and it declares, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, external. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad, internal. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together, corporate. The word of God to the people of God. Yes, let's praise him today. We normally find complaining easy, but let's dig deep. Let's press. Let's push and praise ye the Lord. For God is good and his mercy endureth forever. Remember, the enemy is against us. He's attacking us every day. However, praise is a weapon. And once used with understanding, will fight and defend against the enemy of our soul. The word praise comes from the Latin word precium, meaning price. Price is a variation of this word. Originally, it meant to set a great price on. And so when we praise God, when we extol Him, when we lift Him up with the understanding, we are setting a great price on Him, on His acts. And we know God is great and He is greatly to be praised. He helps us in time of need. He's a shelter in the time of storm. He's a wheel in the middle of the wheel. He is our battle axe. So when we praise Him, He acts according to our praises. So let the praises come forth today. Let the praises ring today. Indeed, let the praises rise. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let our soul make a boast. More importantly, let the humble hear and be glad. Cause others today to praise the Lord, to magnify the Lord, to exalt Him and watch God work in great ways on your behalf today. On behalf of your family, your business, on behalf of your community, the place of your influence, give Him praise. He'll respond greater than your praise. Father, we thank you today. God, that we will praise you from the inside out so that it will run out of us, through us, in us, and others will see and desire also to praise the Lord. I give you thanks today. At this day, this Monday, the day that you have made, we have never seen before and will not see again. But we will remember the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let everything that has been, let all that is in us praise you. We honor and adore you today for family. Thank you for parents, siblings. Thank you for loved ones. We yield to you today. Those who lead the nations, we yield them to you. We give you thanks, including our prime minister and all of parliament. We praise you for them today and their families as we lift them to you, that they too will praise you with all that is within them. Thank you, Father, for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Let your name be exalted now so that the enemy will know who is the Lord, the God who is Elohim, the King of kings and Lord of lords, and they will comply. Hallelujah. The atmosphere will shift. Indeed, the winds will seize the hearts of men and change them so that they may praise you as well. We give you thanks. 
for praise is calmly, is expected of the righteous. Help us to do it today with all that is within us. Help us to bless your holy name. We give you honor. We give you praise. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let the redeemed say so today. Praise the Lord with all that is within you. Let nothing stop you. Let nothing stand in your way. Praise is our weapon. And the enemy will have to flee when we draw nigh to God. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.